the Monty Hall problem. The Monty Hall problem is named after the host of the TV show Let's Make a Deal and works like this. You are given the choice of three doors. Behind one of the doors is a new car and behind the other two are goats. You win whatever is behind the door you choose. So you choose a door, let's say door two. The TV show host then asks you to wait and opens one of the other doors to reveal a goat. He then gives you the option of switching to the other door. Should you switch? Intuition seems to suggest that it doesn't matter. After all, there are two doors left. One has a car behind it, the other has a goat, so surely the odds are 50-50. However, this isn't true. If you swap doors, you are actually twice as likely to win as if you don't swap. This is so counterintuitive that many mathematicians argued against it when they first heard it. But let's look at how this works. So you choose a door. For our example, let's choose door two again. The TV host opens a door to reveal a goat. He knows where the goats are, so the open door will always be a goat. This leaves two doors, and we know that one has a car behind it, the other has a goat. Therefore, if we change doors, we change prizes, either from car to goat or from goat to car. You choose to switch doors. For this door to be the car, you need to have started on a goat door. Now, what was the probability of starting on a goat? Well, there were two goats and three doors, so the probability of starting on a goat was two thirds. Hence, the probability of switching doors, giving you a car, is two thirds. Difficult to believe, but true. The thing to remember here is that even though you have ended up with only two closed doors, the host's choice of which door to open was dependent upon your original choice. So it is the probabilities of the original three doors from the beginning that are important. So switching has a two-thirds chance of winning, not switching has only a one-third chance of winning. Still not convinced? Well, let's look at it in a different way. There are three possible combinations behind the doors. Either the car is behind door three, door two, or door one. For this example, suppose you picked door one to start with. In example one, door two is then opened to reveal a goat. So if you switch doors, you'll win the car. In example two, the other goat is behind door three, which is then opened. So switching gives you door two. Again, you win a car. In example three, you start off on the car so one of the other doors is opened, and in this case, switching gives you a goat. So two of our three examples have given us a win by switching doors. So the probability of winning the car by switching, if you started on door one, is two thirds. Looking at the pictures, you can see quite quickly that the same thing would happen if you originally chose doors two or three. Two of the scenarios would lead to wins, one would lead to a loss, so giving you an overall probability of winning by switching of two thirds. Thank you for watching this video about the Monty Hall problem. I hope you've enjoyed it and that you've learned something from it. Remember to stay subscribed to keep up to date with all the latest Dewey Maths videos.